albino orangutan rescued from captivity. An incredibly rare female albino orangutan has been freed by conservationists after she was captured by villagers in Indonesia and held for two days. The five-year-old orangutan was found and imprisoned in a cage on April 27th in a remote district of central Kalimantan, the island also known as Borneo. After receiving a tip-off, workers from the Borneo Orangutan Survival Foundation arrived to find the young orangutan weak, dehydrated, and infected with worms. That dried blood on her nose? Foundation workers say it appears she was injured as she fought back during her capture. Albinos of any species are rare, and as orangutans are endangered, finding a white-haired, blue-eyed orangutan is a rare moment indeed. Luckily for this young female, her future looks bright. She's being nursed back to health at the Foundation's Rehabilitation Center, along with some 500 other orangutans. According to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, around 100,000 orangutans are thought to still live in Kalimantan's forests, which span areas in Malaysia, Brunei, and Indonesia. But that already low number is declining. Between 1950 and 2010, the Kalimantan orangutan population shrank by 60%. And due to continuing deforestation to make way for palm oil and rubber plantations, that number is forecast to fall a further 22% between 2010 and 2025. As if their situation wasn't troubling enough, the orangutan, a docile and majestic creature, is also killed by locals who regard them as pests. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more incredible videos of our primate cousins. Orphaned orangutans released back into the wild in Borneo. These two young female orangutans, Bhutan and Marcella, almost never lived to see this day. Marcella was rescued from a palm oil plantation in Katapang a city located on the island of Borneo in Indonesia. Bhutan's fate was much the same, motherless, alone, and dying from malaria. Once residents of the lush Indonesian jungles, the branches and vines they swang on are no more. The forested areas they lived in have been racked by logging, deforestation, and destruction at the hands of man to make way for palm oil plantations. Palm oil is the cheapest, most tropical vegetable oil on the planet. It's used in a variety of everyday items on our grocery list, from candies and baked goods to shampoo, cosmetics, detergents, cleaning agents, and even toothpaste. With demand rising and the Indonesian government set to double its annual palm oil production from 20 million tons in 2009 to 40 million tons by 2020, Bhutan and Marcella's story is devastatingly common and it's only getting worse for our fellow great apes. Just last week, the IUCN reclassified the status of the Bornean orangutan from endangered to a critically endangered species. Some estimates project at the current rate, orangutans in the wild could be wiped out within five to 10 years. Fortunately, this story has a happy ending. After about five years of attending forest school and learning survival skills that would allow them to take care of themselves on their own, Bhutan and Marcella were set to be released back into the jungle by conservation group International Animal Rescue. They were accompanied by a 25-year-old male orangutan, Sabtu, who was rescued earlier this year when he was spotted wandering through a village when his home was also destroyed. On June 28th, after four days of traveling to Bukit Baka Bukit Raya National Park, Sabtu bolted out of his cage once the door opened and scurried up into the trees. A day later, the once orphaned Bhutan and Marcella did the same. Now free to roam in the heavily forested habitats they were born to swing through, the hope is that that's where they'll live out their days. Mother and baby orangutan rescued after brutal attack. Earlier this month, an orangutan named Mama Auntie and her tiny baby had just escaped a forest fire when they suddenly came under attack from villagers in Indonesia. The local people, scared of the animals, tried to tie the pair up and threw stones at them. The International Animal Rescue Charity soon found out what was happening and took them to safety. And this striking image of them, snapped during the rescue, has gone viral and drawn international media attention. It shows them traumatized and emaciated. The rescuers rehydrated the pair and later released them into a protected forest. What's worse, this isn't the first time. Primates often flee their homes in Indonesia and wind up near villages due to illegal fires used in slash and burn agriculture. These illegally started fires have caused huge environmental and health problems for Indonesia. 
and are largely the cause of the country's choking smog at the moment. Want to support animal rescues such as this? Visit International Animal Rescue via the link in the description. Chimp freed from zoo in non-human rights ruling. In a landmark ruling, a chimpanzee in Argentina will be released from a zoo after a judge ruled the ape is a being with non-human rights that deserve to be observed. Cecilia the chimpanzee previously shared her enclosure with two companions, Charlie and Zuzu. Her friends passed away years ago, and ever since, Cecilia has been on her own in a filthy concrete habitat with only a blanket for cover. The chimpanzee, now in her 30s, is one of the Mendoza Zoo's most popular attractions, but left alone, her emotional health has long been in jeopardy. In the past, the zoo has received negative attention for the poor conditions its animals have been subjected to. The sad life and inevitable death of Arturo the polar bear in July is the most recent high-profile case. When the director of an ape sanctuary in Brazil came across Cecilia's plight, he began a fight for her transfer to their care. Two years later, a judge has ruled to do just that, calling Cecilia's solitary confinement unlawful, stating she is entitled to enjoy her life in a more natural habitat. Congratulations, Cecilia. You're finally free, the way you were born to be.